Hi, I'm Dr. Alexis Harrison. I'm a non-invasive cardiologist here at Logan Health. Atrial fibrillation is a irregular and often fast rhythm that starts in the top of the heart. Atrial fibrillation has a wide range of symptoms. Some people have no symptoms. Some people will feel a regular heart and that's it. Other people will be short of breath, have chest pain, have a fast heart rate, be a little lightheaded when they're in AFib. So there's a great range of symptoms along with AFib. We worry about your heart rate staying fast for a long time, like your heart is running a marathon. If it's staying this fast for days and weeks, it can weaken the heart. And there is a stroke risk associated with atrial fibrillation. So those are the most concerning um, things about atrial fibrillation. It's not in itself life-threatening, but it can weaken the heart and cause stroke and cause heart failure. Atrial fibrillation can be caused by other medical problems. If you have heart disease, if you've had valvular disease, if you have sleep apnea, if you have thyroid issue or viruses, we can see atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation can be caused during heart surgery because we're causing inflammation around the heart. Atrial fibrillation can also be caused by lifestyle issues such as drinking too much alcohol, being obese, and being sedentary. We have a wide range of treatment options and it depends on your symptoms, how fast your heart rate's going in AFib, um, your stroke risk. Generally, we wanna make the diagnosis early. We can try and restore normal rhythm. We can use medications to restore normal rhythm. We can make sure the heart rate's not going too fast with medications. We can make sure your stroke risk is low and we can think about ablation, so uh, procedures to prevent atrial fibrillation. Early diagnosis is important. So if you feel like you're having irregular heartbeats, getting an EKG of your heart, talking to your provider, and trying to wear a heart monitor or come in when you're feeling this helps us make that diagnosis.